Yes, welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to see how to replace keyboard for this HP Elite Book 840 G3. This is the original keyboard that uh, came with this laptop. However, some keys like the A, W, and S don't work. So when you're replacing a keyboard, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind. You have to know that not every keyboard are the same. They may look the same, but inside they are not the same. So one thing that you have to consider is the backlight. The original keyboard, you can see it has got backlight inside. However, not every keyboard that you buy has backlight. The keyboards with backlight are a little bit expensive than those ones that don't have backlight. Another thing that you should also consider is the layout. This keyboard has got the American English or the general international English. However, there are some keyboards that have got different layout. So a layout of a keyboard is so, so crucial especially if you're just going to send a keyboard or you're going to buy it online you should know that the keyboard you buy matches with the language that you are used to so here with me i've got this keyboard this is the new keyboard that you are going to replace on this laptop so this is how you can differentiate a new keyboard that has got backlight behind here on these cables the one with backlight will have this cable this is the backlight cable the one that don't have backlight will not have any extra cables like this so let's open up right now and replace this keyboard. Uh, we have to first disconnect the, the battery. It's really, really dangerous to replace the keyboard when the battery is connected because there are some voltages on the keyboard connector and you can easily shut them out when you're trying to fix in the keyboard. So behind here you will see that there are some screws that have got markings and you can see that this sign here is a sign of a keyboard. So this means if you want to remove a keyboard, you have to open up the screws that have got this keyboard signs. I also have this one. So to take out the keyboard, it is good to have something sharp. A plastic or a metallic slim part will do the job. You can put it at the top here. And then use your nails. After removing, you can use your fingers to pry the keyboard out and then you disconnect this cable here. You also have to remove the backlight cable. And also don't forget to disconnect this cable. Down here you can see that this keyboard might have had some water damage that probably made this key is not to function. So let's first test this keyboard that we are going to replace before finally putting the screws. Let also connect the backlit. So let me plug in the battery. Let's first turn it on. You can see the backlit lights up. So you can see it works. Let me assemble it back and then I'm going to show you another software that you can use to test all the keys and confirm that they are working perfect. After confirming that the keyboard works, the next thing is to disconnect this 
because we need this cable to be attached like this. If you don't remove this glue, this cable will stick here and it will be pressed around here where the keyboard enters. And uh, after some time, these parts will start developing some small cracks and eventually your keyboard will fail after a short period of time. So you can see it fits well. We shall have to put these screws back. So there is a software that we can use to test all the keys of this keyboard. So it is called Keyboard Test. Let's install it. So here Every key that I press highlights up on this software. So I click tab, you see tab highlights. And I click A, A highlights. So I can use this line to test all the keys. Then come down. Then come here. I'm going to skip these windows because when you click it, it opens this. Alt space, Alt. So you can see all the arrows. Then numbers. So then these function keys. So you can see that all the keys are highlighted except these numbers. Now these numbers are on those extended keyboard where you have a separate key part for numbers here. The windows has not highlighted on this side because this laptop has got only one window key on this side. You can see we also don't have scroll lock and pause, but all the essential keys, you can see that they have highlighted. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you have learned something in this video. See you in the next video.